As our society continues to grow in number and mobility, increasing numbers of consumers seek products that are convenient, healthy, and easy to use. That must be why ready-to-drink tea is one of the fastest growing categories in food and beverage. So why are so many people drinking tea? To figure this out, we went to Bessemer, Alabama, where Milo's Tea Company is located. They have been making tea since 1946, so we figured they knew a lot about it. Many people are interested in alternatives to soda because we're realizing that these things that I can't pronounce real well in sodas may not be good for our bodies long term. Scientific evidence establishes that the catechins, which are the specific antioxidants that are found in tea, has health benefit. For example, there are studies that suggest that it can fight cancer, heart disease, it can delay dental problems. There are a host of health benefits from tea. You don't find that in most other beverages that you can buy on the, on the shelf today. Milo's Tea Company was founded in 1946 by my grandparents. When my grandfather returned from World War II, he married my grandmother a couple days later and they opened a hamburger shop in North Birmingham. Tea was a staple of the restaurant and people came just to get tea. Teas, like many other foods, are often filled with unnatural preservatives and ingredients. Milo's tea is fresh brewed from tea leaves and it's all natural, it has no preservatives or additives in it. Many teas out there today are made from instant powder. We are proud that the only ingredients we have in our tea are water, custom blended tea, and pure cane sugar. Tea is one of the fastest growing segments of beverage today. What makes for a great natural tea? The same things that drove the growth of bottled water are the same things that are driving people to ready to drink teas. People want convenience, they want pure, they want better for you, and um, so those are the things that are common to uh, the water category, bottled water category, as well as bottled tea. What makes a great tasting tea, we believe, is first of all having a, a high quality leaf. Also, the amount of time we steep the leaf, uh, how quickly we heat, how quickly we cool. Also, water quality. And after that, uh, the way the tea is handled affects it a lot. Again, we have an all natural product that has to remain refrigerated. Many people assume that green tea is the healthiest type of tea. There's only one commercial tea bush in the entire world, a Camellia sinensis. And that one bush is where we get all of our commercial teas. But the way that the tea leaves are processed determines what type of tea and what type of glass of tea that you will have. There are six varieties of tea that come from that plant, and that is white tea, yellow, green, oolong, black, and Perea. The people that market green tea have done such a great job to educate consumers about the health benefits of green tea. But what consumers often don't realize is that black tea has just as many antioxidants. With today's focus on a more active lifestyle, do you think more people are drinking tea because of the health benefits? We certainly don't market our product like that because it's not medicine, it's not a magic elixir, but when you have a choice in what you're going to drink, wouldn't you rather pick up something that is all natural and refreshing and has health benefits? With all the sugary juices and sodas out there, it's refreshing to see people are enjoying some healthier options, almost as refreshing as a nice cup of tea.